Good morning, students. It's Tuesday, May 26th. I hope that your Memorial Day weekend was nice and long and you enjoyed the outside a little bit. Um, today we are going to begin a mini research project on an explorer of your choice. So um, there's a few things you need to do. It looks like there's a ton of stuff that you need to do um, for today, but actually it's more just getting you set up for the research that you'll begin tomorrow. So don't panic that there are a lot of tiles. It looks um, harder than it is. So the first thing you need to do is open Play Posit and watch the assigned video for today. And here are the directions a little bit uh, more written out. So you need to remember log in through Clever and go to Play Posit, which looks like the cute little puppy dog, remember? So you're gonna go to Play Posit and in your class, um, ELA class folder, you should have been assigned this Encyclopedia Britannica um, play posit. And you're going to watch that and respond to a few questions, and then you can mark it as complete. Um, the next step, and this is probably the most important, is to pick out the explorer that you would like to research. So what we've done is put together this nice little um, document that has a ton of different research, I mean, sorry, a ton of different explorers that you can research. So you need to take a few minutes and um, read through all of the explorers and see which one sounds the most interesting to you. Um, it's split up into two different types of um, sources. Well, they're both at encyclopedias, but one is from World Book and one is through Encyclopedia Britannica. Both of these can be found um, in Clever. So if you are in Clever and you are um, looking in the research section, you will find the World Book Online and Britannica School. Okay, you need to be logged in to whichever source you're gonna use in order to be able to click on the link here. So see, for example, if I click on Neil Armstrong, who was the first American, first person ever to walk on the moon, um, and I'm not logged in, it's going to take me to the login page, which you don't really know your login information. So you need to make sure that you are already logged in through Clever. And then when you click on the link, in theory, it will take you right to the, the page. So you just need to make sure you've logged into whichever one um, your link is from. So for example, um, for Britannica, you'd want to be logged in um, through Clever for Britannica and World Book. So keep that in mind. Um, once you've decided on your um, explorer, so let's just say I've picked Neil Armstrong, you are then going to mark this as complete and you are going to go to your assessments and open the notes sheet that you are going to be using to take notes. So um, remember, you can just click on the link that's in the tile and that'll take you directly to your assessments page. Or you can just say, I'm going to go right to my assessments. Okay, so um, under your assessments, where is mine? Here, yours will look um, like this, Explorer Research Note Sheet. And what you need to do, let me, Explorer Research Note Sheet. You're, it's going to look like this, and you're going to have some basic information, the background that you're going to need to fill in, um, career highlights or important parts, interesting facts, and additional facts. However, the only thing you need to do today is type in your explorer. So I'm going to type in Neil Armstrong, and that is it. When I have done that, I can mark that as complete. And the next thing, so I'm just going to, um, hold on, mark that as complete. The next thing you need to do is just look at the two different options that you have that you're going to be choosing from tomorrow. So there are two different ways you can do this research. You can do the research and then create a Facebook profile for your Explorer, or you can do the research and do a resume. Um, just so you know, the resume is kind of the more simple of the two options. It's more basic. Um, you just kind of put, you can look at the example that I've done for Amelia Earhart. 
and it just kind of goes straight through and says, here's my background information, here are my career highlights, and here are some interesting facts about me. Um, my birthday from where I'm from and profession and skills are all there too. So if I was Amelia Earhart, this is what my resume would look like. Um, that is the more basic of the two. It's a little bit easier. If you want to challenge yourself, the Facebook example, it's called fake book, but it's a Facebook example. And it is an extension because you kind of have to take what you've learned and apply it in different ways. So this took me a while to put this together for Amelia Earhart, but it's really fun. So it's kind of up to you what you want to choose. So again, it kind of looks like a Facebook, an old Facebook profile, and it has a, like a status and she's getting excited for her departure from Oakland for her flight around the world, right? Her basic information is here. Um, I had to come up with I like sites or, or groups that I thought she might have been um, a part of had she had a Facebook profile. I did a, an about me section, um, recent events that she's attended or hosted, likes, quotes, and things like that. So this is more of the extension. So what you need to do is just think about, you need to look at both and then think about the one that you would like to do. Again, the resume is a little bit more basic and the fake Facebook profile is a little bit harder, but it's very creative and very fun. So it's up to you guys which one you wanna choose. Um, that is all you need to do for today. So once you have taken a look at the two profiles, um, the resume and the Facebook profile, um, and you have watched the um, play pause it and you have picked your explorer and opened your note sheet and put your name the explorer's name there you are all done for today so there's no actual research that you need to do today um, unless you want to get started okay so let us know if you have any questions I know this is a very long video and I appreciate you listening all the way through so um, drop in to one of our sessions from 9 to 10 or 1 to 2 if you have any questions and or email us have a great day